Hi, it's been six months that Java 10 has been released, and that means Java 11 just got released. Let's find out if there's any new exciting and useful features that us developers can use in our day-to-day -day work life. All right, let's dive right in. And obviously you have to make sure to have Java 11 installed. Just quickly double check, yes, project version is set to Java 11. And then let's start with my favorite changes and they have to do with strings. Let's do it like Americans would do and have a chant saying USA, like so, and a bit of white space. And obviously just saying USA once doesn't really work out too well. So you need to repeat your chant. And you can do that with a new method, it's called repeat. Say three times and you should get USA, USA, USA. Great. Then there's another nice method. It is, and that's gonna make all users of Apache Commons cry, it's called is blank. They introduced a method where you can check is a string blank. It's not blank in our case because obviously it has USA inside but you can stop using Apache Commons from Java Lebanon, at least for the is blank function. And then also there's another method. It's called chant.strip. And you might wonder what strip is, that because there's also chant.trim. And trim basically takes the white space from the beginning and the ending of the string, removes it. So you're just left with USA. But the thing is, white space isn't white space and strip is basically a Unicode white space aware version of the trim function. So it's simply a bit newer, right? And then there's a couple of more methods. For example, you can turn a string that has line terminators like backslash N or backslash R into multiple lines, but I want you to play with that yourself. All right, now let's see what happens when we run our code takes a second and then as you can see chant repeat 3 USA 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 it's not blank and when you strip the string down it's just USA great that's everything I want to say to strings now on to lambdas it's one of the features you find most mentioned in blog posts about Java 11 which I find to be a bit well underwhelming imagine you have a consumer and it's a money consumer like so and then you have your money variable right and maybe you just want to print it out so you're going to say i got this much money something like that now what got introduced in java 11 is that you can now also use the var keyword here woohoo that's a great change it's exactly the same as without the var keyword, there's just one difference. When you have the var keyword here, you can also put annotations here, like saying deprecated. If and how you want to use annotations with your lambdas, whatever, totally different story, but just so you know, you can do that now. Then onto the HTTP client. Remember, I already had a video on it. The HTTP client got introduced in Java 9. And now in Java 11, it's stable. So basically the API is ready to use. And that's why I'm not gonna cover it here in full detail. But what I have is some code from my other video taken. And as you can see, you can import these classes here, right? And everything it does is basically creating a new HTTP client, making a get request to google.com, and then just sending the request, printing out the body, and then you can add the exception to the method signature. And just to double check, these are all java.net.http package classes. So there's no Apache HTTP client included or something similar. Now let's run that again, see what happens. And as you can see, you get some HTML back, which is the HTML of Google.com. Good. Now onto something which I like a lot, but it depends a bit on what you're working. Java 10 or Java 11 supports Unicode 10 because Java 10, and now it gets confusing, only implements Unicode 8. 
And then you have Unicode 9 as well. And um, Unicode 10, obviously. And Unicode 9 and 10 together have like 15,000 new characters. And with the latest Java 11, you can use all these characters. And I'm going to show you my favorite character here. So you just do a system out. And then you have the Unicode character. I want you to think about what that is. It has to do with cryptocurrencies. And we're going to run a program now to see what it is. Run it. And then you'll see a somewhat weird B with some things on top at the bottom. But you will have to find out yourself what it is, what it stands for. Good. And last but not least, it has something to do with the JavaScript engine, not on. So the quick history is a while ago, Java got a JavaScript engine, was called Rhino, that got replaced with another script engine called Nason, and now they deprecated the Nason engine. So let's quickly get a script engine. You're gonna call script engine manager, then get engine by name, just to make it explicit. Put in the Nason engine, and then you're gonna write some JavaScript. And the JavaScript is going to be something very simple like print, right? And then you're going to say something like, help, I am dying. Good. Now run the application again. And this time in the console, you'll see warning. The engine is planned to be removed from a future JDK release. And you'll see help, I'm dying printed out the, to the console. Just so you know, you can still use Nason with Java 11, but it's going to be removed and replaced in a future JDK release. Now, I almost forgot one last feature, and that has to do with running Java files or Java source files directly. So let's open up a terminal window and change into the source directory. Just quickly check which Java version I'm on. It's Java 10. Now let's try and run Java main.java just like that. And you get an exception saying class not found exception. Now when I switch to Java 11, just quickly double checking here, right? I can try the very same thing again. I don't have to call the compiler manually. I just run Java main.java. And you see that our code gets executed and that's very nice because that's a start to be able to use Java as a scripting language. That's it for a very quick overview. There's a ton of more features, but you'll have to unfortunately find out about them yourself. All right, so you now know what Java 11 has to offer. And obviously there's more features that you can read up on online. I'll post a link in the comments section. And I guess up next is Java 12.